Well, the jury didn't even leave the courtroom and came back with a verdict. It is the starter, according to the comments from the last video. So today, we're gonna tear into the intake manifold and replace that starter. I guess no use messing around. Let's just do it. Hopefully I don't have to disconnect too much stuff to get this done. I need longer extension, that's annoying. There we go, now we can reach all the things. I'm gonna glove up before I get too dirty. That's not helpful at all. Okay, those are the same size, that's good. I like that. Gonna need pliers. Did the earthquake check to see what all is attached to that? Must be. Because what else is holding that thing in there? Try to do this without taking a whole bunch of stuff apart. Let's see if we can expose the bolt. Huh, well, check that out. Let's see if I can show you guys what's happening here. That's the starter. The bolt on the top goes in from the far side. All right, let's show you this way. The starter sits here. The bolt that's on the top underneath the intake manifold goes in from this side. So I probably really only needed to take off, you know, maybe just this hose, the inlet hose, and then that would have exposed it. Now that I can see what I'm up against, it's easier. The bottom bolt on the starter goes in this way. So you do still have to get that one out this direction. The top one goes out that direction. Let's get that starter out of there. Oh, it's bigger than that. Uh, that's a 12, must be a 14. Fourteen. That's the top bolt. And the bottom bolt. Am I gonna have to get under there to do it? Probably. And I haven't jacked the car up yet. I'm gonna see if I can get it though. Yep, that was Kenny am I? Not skinny enough, not even nearly. Get the 
those extensions because you always need something when you're down there. All right, let's do it. Never fails when you get under there. You always need one more tool. There we go. Oh yeah. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Bolt. Now, let's go plug it into this bad boy that's gotta be unplugged. Hey, there's the starter. Oh, hey, stay. Oh. Yeah, break the bar to keep you from sliding around, huh? Oh, there we go. One starter. There's the old starter. <clears throat> that post is, uh, that's the positive going in. It's a little discolored. I don't know if that's an indication that I've got a problem. I don't know, but I paid for the remanufactured starter. Let's use it. Done messing around with this thing. There we go. No? Copper, maybe that's supposed to be that color. I don't know. That good and snug. That's the top bolt. Now yeah, take the positive lead terminal and the bottom bolt is down here. Here we go. I got it, don't worry about it. I wonder. Get a wrench on it from up here. Ooh, that wind is cold. It sucks. Much easier than being down on the ground. Should have tried this, taking it off. Okay. What we've got is shiny new part down in there. That's the brand new starter. Positive lead is on. Top bolt comes in from the far side. Bottom bolt comes in from the close side. Everything's tight. My last concern before I put this all back together is my intake manifold gasket. So I'm gonna take a close look at that. Just make sure that that's good and clean. No cracks in it or anything weird. And sorry about the wind. It's cold, I wanna get this thing done. I've got like six bolts and nuts to put back on. Then the battery terminal will be testing this. Get it back together. All right, clean all the surfaces real good so it has the best chance of seating all the way down. Want any air leaks that'll cause check engine lights and all sorts of stupid crap. We don't need that. Probably should have picked up a gasket just to avoid any issues. It came out, so it's got to go back in, right? That story of my life. Oh, like a glove. That's what I'm talking about. That goes into the 
walk. Okay, reconnect hoses. Holy shnikes. All right, let's fire this thing up and see what happens. Any butts? You know what, I'm gonna put it back on the ground first. Now we're talking. Battery's dead, wouldn't you know it. So uh, we ran a quick errand this morning and somebody opened the driver's side door, opened the trunk, just kind of rooted around inside the car. That was stupid. They left the door open when they did that and I'm hoping that that's why the battery's dead is because the dome light was on, but grab a charger, plug it in, let's see what happens. Battery was down to 9.1 volts. So I guess while the battery charges, I'll get the pretty cover back on and just go with confidence that we nailed this and then we'll test it. And we wait. While the battery charges, We'll leave that plugged in. Let's go take the old starter, get my core charge back on that. I went to uh, O'Reilly's, take this old battery back. That's a battery from the Hyundai. Just need to recycle that, be responsible, uh, take your parts back where they go uh, for proper recycling. But charge, leave that plugged in, let's go. Away we go. All right, it's been a couple hours on the charger. The battery is testing at 13.3 uh, volts at this point. So I'm gonna give it a test, see if this thing works. As soon as I find the keys, that is. It's getting cold, we're supposed to get snow tonight. Hopefully this fixes this. Wow, that started super strong. Crank super fast, ran like a dream. Uh, I'm not gonna post this video until I've driven the car for a little while. Um, I still haven't found that oil leak. There's just no sign of it at this point, so I am not sure what the oil leak was all about. That was really strange, really weird. But there's no drips under the car. Uh, I let it warm up and cool down uh, two different cycles. Uh, I said I was going to drive it, but I didn't dare. I didn't want to get stranded. So, but now it's running. One's great. Seems to be good. So, I'm going to take it for a spin. Maybe go hit the car wash, get the car clean. It's been sitting for a long time. Now I'll get this uploaded with an actual fix. All right, so I'm sitting here editing the video you're watching. In fact, you just barely watched this part right here. I said I wouldn't post the video until I had an update. It's been two weeks tomorrow since that fix was was put in place. My daughter's Hyundai Elantra broke down the power steering pump went out on it, so there's gonna be a video coming up on that. But I loaned her this car while I was working on her car. So she drove this car for almost a week and it turned out to be awesome. She was able to start it every time, got her from point A to point B. This is a good solid fix. So this I'm calling good. It is better than used. Not quite new. Uh, get some merch down below that helps support me and my channel. I appreciate that. Uh, there's also links down below to Amazon. I'm an affiliate there uh, and that also helps support my channel as well. So any purchases that go through that, uh, Amazon just gives me a little kickback for sending them business and it doesn't cost you guys anything extra to do that and it helps support me and my channel. So I appreciate that. Please like, share, subscribe, do all the things and we'll see you guys in the next video.